Red Lake tribal members are running across northern Minnesota to show support for those looking for a healthier, sober lifestyle. Mel Meyer met with some of the runners before they took off on the four-day event. Now in its 21st year, the annual Anishinaabe Spirit Run has expanded from its original mission of supporting people entering or maintaining sobriety. Organizers also want the run to promote overall health and wellness. We're running for the people, we're running for ourselves, and we're also running to be healed as people, you know, so we can live a good life. It's an important message, one that Nevaeh Graves could relate to on a personal level. I'm trying to, like, run for my grandma right now because she's going through a hard time. I told her today that I was going to run for her. Graves is one of many youngsters joining the run, and many more will jump in later. It varies from year to year. Some days we start off with maybe 50, and it just sort of builds up as we go along the route. Let's run with them, guys. After an opening ceremony and reminder of the ground rules, the group headed out of town towards Highway 89. <laughs> Many members of the running group Native Thunder were taking the lead. We asked them to come, a lot of them come, because we need good strong core runners. These runners will help out the others, especially in areas of heavy traffic where safety could become an issue. Derek Barney has already had his fair share of running, but he can take a break every few blocks when they switch out runners. I'm feeling it a little bit, but you know, we have like 190 something more miles to go. Barney says the support of the community is helping them move forward. They see it when they drive by and they honk at us and it gives us a good feeling. Today's portion of the event will end once the runners reach the Leech Lake powwow grounds. In Red Lake, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The Spirit Run will end on Saturday at the Fond du Lac Powwow Grounds, where the runners will participate in the annual celebration of sobriety. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.